guys, Armand uh welcome back to another video once again. Uh, in my previous video, we checked out how you can make an intro. Today, we're going to check out something different. Um, many people w want to make competitive, uh, you know, live matches, live commentaries, and they want to separate the gameplay audio w with their microphone audio. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Very easy. Um, uh, many of you are gonna think I'm gonna use action. No, that is not what I'm gonna use. I'm actually gonna use shadow play and something called audacity. So we're gonna go through that together and step by step, I'm gonna show you how you can do it. So yeah, let's get into it. So you start by going into this site. It's called. It's in the description right now. Go in there uh, and download shadow play. This is for the, uh, you know the recording program shadow play, and the site looks like this I uh, just click download oh voice crow my god uh, you just click download and uh, you just click download here again and then it will start the download and I will not show you how to download it's very easy so just download it uh, shadow play very easy and that is also what I'm recording with at the moment um, so yeah just download that and then go to your desktop shadow play up it will look like this and you want to go to preferences you want to go down to shadow play and th there's nothing really special here uh, just to take push to talk I'm not gonna take that right now because I have to push to talk and here you can you know change the um, the uh, the keys uh, for you know to talk for example activate push to talk here I have to hold uh, one to talk so uh, yeah the other thing you need I, th I you guessed it audacity right here uh, you just want to um, go ahead and download that, and that link will be also in the description, and the URL is on the screen right now. So you want to go in there and download it. So uh, yeah, and the site looks like this. So yeah, the site looks like this. Uh, download Audacity right there, Audacity for Windows, and then install there. You just pick which one you want. Uh, so that is done. You just open it up, everything, and uh, it will look like this once you've uh, opened Audacity up. So it'll look like this for you, and you just want to put in your, um, you know, uh, your uh, your microphone uh, inputs. Uh, for example, this is mine. Uh, microphone, real text, uh, high definition speakers, high definition. Uh, take what whatever you want. So now we have completed step one, which is to have both Audacity and Shadow Play. So one, uh, I think. Um, amount of you are thinking why isn't he using uh, action you can just you know uh, you can just uh, click a check a marker you know uh, uh, don't you know separate my uh, audios well I'm not using action because it doesn't get you know the the same quality as shadow play and this is really easy actually and I really don't recommend action because you know um, I think I, I don't think it's a good software. It's not that easy. I mean, it's complicated. I think it's easy, but um, Shadow Play is so easy. Just go in here, like click here, and then just start recording. It's so easy. Um, but enough of that. We're gonna get into this. So you want to actually start off um by um going into preferences again. Now take the push to talk. So I have to push a button to talk now. So right so now I have the push to talk thingy, and uh, you want to activate the, uh, your voice in Audacity. And um, I have to, you know, I am holding it to talk to you guys because I'm recording with uh, Shadow Play right now. Uh, but go into Audacity and activate your voice. So go in here, just click record, and now it's uh, activate. You know, it's recording your voice. These are my vibes, if you're wondering. So go into your game, and in this case, it's going to be Counter-Strike Global Offensive for me. So go into Counter-Strike Global Offensive, or whatever game you're playing. So right now, we're in the game, uh, and... Uh, yeah, you just, and now you want to do something yes. that, uh, that, so it reacts in, um, in Audacity and in Shadow Play. So hit your chair, for example, three times, so it reacts here and in Shadow Play. So... Yeah, hit your chair three times. Uh, let the push to talk button go, and then it should be a completely si silent in your room. So make sure nobody comes in your room or something like that. So it should be completely silent. So yeah, hit your chair three times. I'm gonna let let go of the button and then hit my chair three times. So I'm gonna do that right now. Need backup now. 
There we go. I just recorded that, and then you just uh, you you start the video. You start yeah. recording. You start. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, or something like that. You, do, that, you do your intro because this will record it in Audacity. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, that is how you do it. So now we're gonna go to the desktop and I'm gonna prove this to you guys. So once you recorded it, your gameplay footage, um, you have to obviously go to your desktop to stop Audacity. Um, so you go in here, you click on this yellow stop button, which will stop the recording. I've already done it, if you're wondering. So now you would just want to render this. And you do that by clicking on File, going to Export Audio, and then just naming it to CSGO Audio uh, Video. And it has to be in that format, wave, wav, whatever you want to call it. I don't know how to pronounce that. So just uh, click save right there. Click OK again and OK. And now you want to open, you want to go into your editing software. In my case, Sony Vegas. So you want to go into that. Um, yeah, let's go into that. So right now, when you're on your editing software, we want to import the audio and the... Um, uh, the uh, gameplay footage so I am uh, missing my uh, audio so I'm just gonna go and import that right now and once you've done that you wanna drag the audio down here as well and oh sorry <laughs> uh, right there here here are the chair shots these are exactly the chair shots so it has reacted in both a Sony Vegas and Shadowplay you wanna put them exactly under each other and and once you pu uh, put them um, uh, under each other, uh, you're done. And as you can see, this audio right here, uh, this is from the Shadow Play. I was just talking to you guys to make sure that you know uh, it worked. You know, it's for the video. So it, the red audio where is where I demonstrate the video, basically uh, not in Audacity. Um, when you're doing this yourself, you won't have to talk in uh, Shadow Play. I was just demonstrating the video. So you uh, do the chair shots both in uh, Shadow Play and in uh, Audacity. So yeah, you record with Shadow Play and record your voice with Audacity, basically. I think you get the idea. Let's move on. Yeah, you can even leave comments that I won't answer in the comments section down below. Um, links will be down below as well in the description. Uh, everything will be there. You will do great, I promise. I wish uh, the best of luck to you and your YouTube channel if you want to do competitive matches. Um, if this helped you, and this is very important because a lot of people want to, uh, you know, record gaming videos and, you know, have the sound very high and, you know, separate them. So I did this little video, or not maybe that little, <laughs> to do uh, this. So thank you for watching, uh, everybody. Thank you very much, everybody, actually, for the support. I'm 160 subscribers, 159, something like that. And that is just an insane. I've uh, never actually, I never even look at the subscribers that much, you know, look every day. I only looked today and, you know, saw that amount of number. And that is a lot of people, actually, 160. I know a lot of YouTubers have, like, 1 million, and, uh, but that doesn't matter. I love you guys. Thank you very much for all the support. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and peace out.